All right, so I'm just like laying here and I'm thinking about this life-changing experience I had by this really hot girl, right? And you know, I talk about Michael Jordan a lot. He's the greatest basketball player of all time. You know, I don't know if he's the greatest athlete. What about Wilt Chamberlain? I mean, he's got it. He's not the greatest basketball player, but when you look at athlete. Anyway, <laughs> so why, you know, Michael Jordan was was so and, and still is so seemingly rich with dollars and net worth because he wanted to win. The whole point of playing basketball is winning. And I, you know, people run their mouth about Chris Paul, CP3, saying he's the greatest, he's one of the greatest point guards. And I say he's not even top 10, I'm top 25. Who do I put in the top? I mean, I, I, I have an issue with John Stockton too. Who do I put up there? B.J. Armstrong. I put up there, well, even Sam Cassell, but Kenny Smith. What's that dude? Um, Tony Parker. Obviously, Steph Curry. Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas. But I just mentioned, you know, B.J. Armstrong. People are like, well, he didn't have any numbers. He didn't put up, you know, 20 points a game, 50, you know, 10 assists a game. But it's all about winning, Okay. Yeah, you got, you know, Andre, 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 Andre. Do name Andre for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He would put up some nasty numbers. This is back in like 2000, 2001, just before LeBron. 98, 99, 2000, yeah. Andre Miller. So I met this woman, really hot girl, and... Okay, what's going on right now in Daytona Beach? Today is what? the tw Oh, damn. I love you, Michelle. Panama City Beach. March 5th. Happy birthday. So, uh, what's today? She's probably 32 now, I guess. Anyway, yeah, uh, March 5th, 2022. Bike week is going on at Daytona Beach. So... Yeah, there's going to be a lot. These strip clubs, I've heard that Molly Brown is is the one leading this. But yeah, they're bringing in these girls from different states. And these strippers are going to make probably a, close to $1,000 in a night, which is like crazy money that they're ever going to make. I said money. Crazy dollars are just going so... I said $1,000. dollars are not getting Bitcoins. They're not getting... There's actually a strip club out in um, Clearwater that takes Bitcoins and Litecoin as well. But are you doing this for the dollars or are you doing this for the love of the game? You know what I'm saying? CP3. I get it. He got to one finals, but the reality is whatever team he plays on, it's just it's not winning, y'all. And the same thing with Carmelo Anthony, Russell Westbrook. I would not put Russell Westbrook in any kind of top 40 or 50. Is he a Hall of Famer? Yeah. But he's not, he just doesn't win. And so it's the whole point of, you know, playing sports is to win. So, and, that, and that's the thing is if you, you've got to, you got to focus on the love of whatever you're doing. So this girl was complaining. It's really just gorgeous, hot girl. 22 years old and I'm sure she's done a lot of the escort escorts legal pretty much probably the whole country because you're not having you're not allowed to have sex so it's like the whole prostitution thing they don't they don't do that but I'm sure they do I mean you know legally but um a lot I met a lot of escorts who would make you know 10,000 in a week easily you know in Miami and they know how to they know how to work to work the game work the system but my point though is like what are you doing it for and it was, this is a life changer for me. I was meeting this girl. She's complaining. She's like, well, I got money. She says, I, I got, you know, I, I just threw all this dollars and everything. And I don't think she's even doing drugs. She might be do, doing the vaping thing every now and then. I don't think she, it's weird. Like, you know, what, what are you spending all your money on? I mean, like, what are you people doing? And the people are trying so hard to get healthy. They're running off to hospitals. You know, in this country, we've got beyond socialized medicine. So, the government pays for all kinds of, you know, whatever the case might be. I mean, you, you go to the hospitals, whether they get on certain kinds of drugs, disease-modifying drugs. 
mean, a lot of these drug drug manufacturers have you know financial assistance, you know, so in this country. But what do you do with it for? And it just changes. It just showed me that much more. This gorgeous, hot, smoking hot girl. She's just lacking the love, lacking the intimacy, and she would. She got flown in, and then, you know, we actually met in an Uber. So we were doing the whole like Uber thing together kind of thing, you know. She got in there. We just talked and talked and talked. Trying so hard, chasing the dollars, but not receiving the intimacy and love. So, and that's the thing, Michael Jordan, you know, he, 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 I, a lot of these guys, like Tom Brady, they didn't take all the dollars in Tampa Bay. They went for the championship. They went for another ring, you know. So, and then the dollars will, will be there. The dollars will come. You'll have, you'll have your dollars, trust me, if, if you need them to, to live on that transactional lifestyle you want. <laughs>